Now let's move over to another, ju- another joint, the acromioclavicular joint. The acromioclavicular joint is between the acromion of the scapula to the clavicle. We've got the acromioclavicular joint here, and this is stabilized by a number of ligaments. So the joint capsule, we can see the joint capsule of the acromioclavicular joint here contains a small wedge-shaped articular disc, and the acromioclavicular ligament reinforces the joint superiorly. So here we can see the acromioclavicular joint, and we can see the acromioclavicular ligament, and that is reinforcing the joint. This acromioclavicular joint is supported by the coracoacromial ligament, and this prevents the acromion from passing deep to the clavicle. So here we have the clavicle here, and here we have the acromion, and here we have the coracoid process. And running between the coracoid process to the acromion is the coracoacromial ligament. And this prevents the acromion here passing deep underneath the clavicle. It helps to stabilize, again, this acromioclavicular joint. We also have the coracoclavicular ligament. And the coracoclavicular ligament, as its name suggests, reinforces this acromioclavicular joint again, but is running from the coracoid process to the clavicle. And there's actually two parts of it. The coracoclavicular ligament. It anchors the clavicle to the coracoid process and augments, it supports the acromioclavicular joint. The two parts to it are the conoid ligament. We can see the conoid ligament passing away here, passing medially from the coracoid process, passing towards the clavicle. And here we've got the coracoclavicular ligament again. We've got the trapezoid ligament. We've got the second part of the coracoclavicular ligament. And these two parts, the conoid ligament, the trapezoid ligament, you should remember their features on the inferior surface of the clavicle that we pointed out. These two parts, two parts, the conoid and the trapezoid, help to reinforce, help to augment the coraco, um, the acromioclavicular joint. Movements at this joint, we have rotation on the acromial end of the clavicle, and this is due to the contraction of the thoracoappendicular muscles. Muscles that are passing from the thorax to the appendicular skeleton, these can move the upper limb at this acromioclavicular joint, and we can have rotation, so forward, backward, lateral rotation as some of the movements that are possible.